when a vehicle comes in the shop and you take a look at the master cylinder and the master cylinder doesn't have any fluid in it you're gonna have to figure out where the fluid went so you can add UV dye to the master cylinder after you put the dye in the master cylinder you're gonna need to fill the brake fluid with the proper amount of brake fluid so you're gonna fill it up with either dot 3 or dot 4 brake fluid to the appropriate level make sure you use brake fluid from a sealed container as brake fluid is hydroscopic and it absorbs moisture from the air so if you use brake fluid that's been sitting on the shelf for a long time to fill up the master cylinder water can get absorbed by the brake fluid and then the brake fluid will become contaminated and contaminated brake fluid is more likely to boil when the brakes get hot than non-contaminated brake fluid so go ahead and put your dye in there and put your clean brake fluid in the master cylinder and fill it up to an appropriate level then you're going to need to go inside the vehicle and you're going to need to pump the brake pedal a couple times and you pump the brake pedal and this should get the brake fluid moving in the system then you're going to get a UV black light and you're going to take the black light and you're going to go around the vehicle and you're going to look around the brake lines and when you find the leak the UV dye will light it up brightly